So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to delete the ISC kit on your MX-5. Um, some of you may know that this basically pumps in induction sound into the cabin, but most of the time it's not that great and you basically just hit engine noise more than anything else. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to delete it um, with the cheapest parts possible. So all you're going to need is an intake pipe from a pre-facelift um, MX-5 and also this is not always needed but also the vacuum pipes that you find with the sensor because they're a little bit different lengths um, but we might not need this but i've got that anyway you can pick them up for around 20 quid and the tools you're going to need 10 mil phillips head first off you want to use a phillips head to remove or undo this jubilee kit that you've got underneath here you then want to remove the breather pipe by pushing the green pins in and sliding the breather pipe out. You can just twist this over and rest it on the top. Once you've done the Jubilee clip, you can pull out the top of the induction pipe. The next thing we're gonna do is remove the plug from the uh, sensor. So just pull the little clip in and pull it out. You've then got these two uh, cable tie re like retaining clips. You can undo them by simply getting a flat head or your nail underneath the uh, cable tie itself and pulling it out. It's a little bit tricky to do on camera, but I've done one here so you can see. It should open up like that. And then you either all pull them up, you can get them like that, and you can just reapply them later. Tuck this way behind the little back over here. We'll need it later. We can then pull the sensor out or the bracket of the sensor. Out from the bar, as you can see here, clears it away nicely, and we can pop that over there for now. We're then going to undo the four 10mm bolts. You've got two over here, you've got the one that's here, and then you've got another one which is just tucked in behind here, which I'll straighten out. So you can see it just, just in there, just to undo that. This one and the two, and that will release the uh, pipe. So I'm just going to do that now. Pull the parts away and then we have the ISR kit removed uh, and we can move on to the intake trumpet next but that's that bit removed. So we're going to remove this bit and pop on the new um, or the old intake trumpet. So to do that we just need to undo two Phillips head retaining clips. One here. They're Phillips head or 10 mil, I believe. Depends, yours can't may vary depending on if someone's replaced them with Jubilee clips like this one here. Um, which we can move that now actually. So, give it a little wiggle. And then that is out. We've popped a new one in. While you've um, got that out, you might as well remove your throttle body or give it a clean while it's in there. They do tend to get pretty dirty. Um, I cleaned mine when I did my thermostat recently. Um, but yeah, it's worth getting that out. It's literally um, four bolts and it comes straight out. So, let's grab the new part and pop it on. Once that on, you can bring back your breather hose, pop that in there, and we can reconnect this up on here. Like so. 
perfect. So the next thing we're gonna do is disconnect these breather lines so we can pop on the uh, pre-faceless breather hoses. To do that, it's really easy to do. These little connectors here, what you wanna do is, if this will focus, as you pull this round, as you can see, it releases it. So we'll remove that. And just a reference, the outer one goes to your manifold. Your intake, the one closer to the sensor goes down to your brake line. So once the um, breather hoses are connected and secure and you've popped it into the slot on there, you need to grab your plug that we removed earlier. What you need to do is it sits like this. So you need to remove, you need to remove the tape off it and also slice the tape down here to give it a bit more space. And then the plug, simply just plug it into that sensor there. And that there is how you delete the ISR kit. The next thing we're gonna do is blank up the hole at the, uh, over here. And to do that, we're going to use a little bit of plastic and we're going to cut it up and put some holes in it and seal it up nice and easy. Just cutting in now, this is me and the uh, future. What I've just done is um, I noticed that there was this little filter on the brake pipe um, pressure line from the sensor. So what I did, I just removed it from the facelifted bit and popped it onto this one and all plugged it up. So just to keep it in line with the current spec. Get yourself a bit of plastic like this and your intake pipe. We're going to lay it over the top and we're going to trace around it and draw a little, make a little blanking plate. And then we're going to bolt that in place and uh, create a little blanking plate. Pop the little blanking end plate off and you can see like this. You can either just cover this up with some tape and bolt this back on, or you can make a blank plate. It's up to you. It depends how you want to do it. Um, I'm going to currently create a blanking plate and put it behind this and pop it on. So this sort of pushes it in place. Um, and that'll create my blanking. So we're just going to do that now. So I'm just going to go away and put some holes in the uh, blanket plate itself, and then we're going to pop it on the car. So we've now got the blanket plate made up, nice like this. We're going to pop it on, pop the new cover on, and then bolt it up. So that there is the ISE delete kit complete. I believe in the whole of this video, I've been calling it ISR. Do not know why, don't understand why. So please forgive me on that one, but it's ISE. But that's the delete kit done. Uh, nice and easy, took about 30 minutes. And if you have any questions, drop a comment down below. And uh, good luck on your ISE delete.